Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 863, all nodes distance k in binary tree. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we have a binary tree with target and variable k, right? So we need to find node values that are at k distance from the target 5, right? So here, the target node is 5 and we need to find nodes that are at a distance of k that is nodes that are at a distance 2 right so from target 5 3 is at a distance 1 but if we go further 1 is at a distance of 2 right from 5 1 is at a distance of 2 so 1 will be the first node we don't have to check further because these are distance 3, right? We can just break from here. So then we need to check this side. So here 6 is at a distance of 1 from 5. And from 6 there are no nodes. So we can just return. Then we need to check the right side of 5. So from 5 we can reach 2 with a distance 1. Then we can go further from 2. We can reach 7 with a distance 2, right? From 5, we reach 7 with a distance 2. So, 7 will be a valid node. Then from 2, we can reach 4, which is also a distance 2 from 5. So, 4 is also a valid node. So, after reaching the k distance nodes, we don't have to go further, right? So, we are going to solve this problem using VFS approach. So, now we will see how we are going to do this. So in this problem, we are going to consider binary tree as an undirected graph. So basically we can see that, right? Binary tree is an undirected graph. So we are going to create adjacency list graph where we are going to represent this binary tree in a dictionary, right? So here the neighbors of three are five and one. Similarly, neighbors of five are three, six and two right that is what represented here and neighbors of 1 are 3 0 and 8 right and similarly neighbor of 6 is only 5 right 6 is connected with 5 only and so on you can check for further nodes as well so initially we will be having a queue where we will append the target value and we will initialize the distance as 0 at the start then we will append the node 5 in the visited set. So initially we will pop the top element in the queue. So in this case we have 5 and 0. We will pop 5 and 0. So here 5 represents the node and 0 represents distance. Right? Then we need to check whether we have reached the k distance or not. Here we haven't reached the k distance. It is still 0. So we can proceed further. So now we are going to visit the neighbors of 5. So we can use the graph that we created at the start to get the neighbors. That is 3, 6 and 2. So first we pick the node 3. So now we need to check whether 3 is in my visited or not. If it is not visited, we can append the 3 to the queue and we increase the distance by 1. That is we have reached 3 with a distance of 1 right from 5 we have reached 3 with a distance of 1 then we append the 3 to the visitor similarly we need to do it for the other two nodes that is 6 and 2 since 6 and 2 is also not in my visited set we will append 6 and 2 to the visited set and we will append 6 and 2 to the queue as well that is we will add 6 and 2 with a distance of 1 right which is we can reach 3, 6 and 2 from 5 with a distance of 1, right? So this one we got it by increasing the distance that is the current distance by 1, right? So now we have done with all the neighbors of 5. We need to pop the next element from the queue that is 3 and 1. So now the node will be 3 and distance will be 1. So now we need to check whether the distance is equal to k, whether we have reached the k distance or not. Here we haven't reached the distance 
2. So we need to proceed further. So we pick the neighbors of 3, which is nothing but 5 and 1. Since 5 is already is in my visited set, we don't have to visit 5. So we visit 1. So we need to append 1 to the visited set. So then we need to append 1 to the queue. And we will increase the distance by 1, which becomes 2. Here the distance is 1. And we need to increase it by 1. So now we have done with all the neighbors of 3. We pick the next value from the queue, which is nothing but 6 and 1. So node becomes 6 and distance is 1. Now we need to check whether we have reached the k distance. No, we haven't reached yet. So we proceed further to get the neighbors of 6. So the neighbors of 6 is nothing but 5. Since 5 is already visited, we don't have to proceed further. We pick the next value from the queue, that is 2 and 1, right? So again, we need to check whether we have reached the k distance. We haven't reached yet. So we pick the neighbors of 2, that is 5, 7 and 4. Since 5 is already visited, we don't have to visit 5. We pick 7 and 4, right? Then we append 7 and 4 to the visited set. Then we need to append 7 to the queue and we will append a distance of 2. That is distance plus 1, right? Similarly, we need to append 4. The distance is 2. Now we have done with all the neighbors of 2. We need to pick the next value from the queue. That is node 1 and distance 2. So now we need to check whether we have reached the k distance or not. Yes, we have reached to right. So we need to append 1 to the result. So we need to keep on doing this process until we get all the nodes that have a distance of 2. So in this case, 1, 7 and 4 will be the answer for this particular input. So whenever we reach a distance that is greater than k, we break, right? We don't have to go further. That's all the logicals. Now we will see the code. So initially, we will be having a graph dictionary. So in order to create the adjacency list, we will be writing a separate function to traverse through the binary tree and we will append the parent and the node values at the same time, right? Since we are treating the binary tree as a undirected graph, right? So then we need to create a queue where we will append the target node and the distance zero at the start. Then we will append the target node to the visited set then we will be having an empty list result to get our node values, right? Then we will run the loop until the queue is empty. Then we pop the top values from the queue. So we will get the node and the distance. Then we need to check whether the distance is equal to k or not. If we have reached the k distance, we have to append the node value to the result list. Else we just proceed further. Then we need to check whether the distance is greater than k. If it is greater than k, we just need to break from the loop, right? Then if the both the condition fails, we need to get the neighbors of the current node. Then if the neighbor is not in my visited set, we need to append the neighbor to the visited set and we need to append the neighbor to the queue along with the distance increased by one, right? Then finally, we need to return the result list. That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Not to check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys.